Good evening. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to another edition of Hilal Live. My name is Faraz Patel. We'd like to thank you, the viewer, for staying with us. Now, this weekend, uh, Hilal TV will be bringing you live coverage of the Wahda Soccer Festival that will be coming to you from the Rosie Sedibani Stadium that is in Lodium in the capital city of Pretoria. And of course, it's going to be a very exciting football festival. The last time uh, we covered, of course, was the exquisite cup uh, that took place in Alphala College in Durban. So, of course, now we're doing it locally here in the capital city. And I'd like to welcome three gentlemen that are, of course, part and parcel of the organizing committee. I'd like to welcome Ziad Suleiman, Mohammed Buta uh, Pamji, and of course, Bilal Chaya. Gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Guys, excited for it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A little, uh, little nervous, yeah. but excited. Kind Stressful. of excited. Yeah. Stressful, but yeah. Alhamdulillah. Ready, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, but I want to start off with you. Um, talk to us about the origins of this, of the tournament, the, the soccer festival. And of course, you know, how it started and how it's grown. Okay, so Alhamdulillah, about just when COVID started mm. settling down, a group of us, over 35 mm. players, attended a tournament in Durban with the sole purpose of networking mm. for our juniors. We then uh, met the Institute Alpha yeah. and uh, we then got in contact with Ozzy Para, mm. who then arranged the first tournament for us. Thereupon, we entered the tournament, it was phenomenal. Mm. We returned the following year with the exceptional surprise of finding Hilal TV present yes. at the events, which then took the tournament from, I would say, you know, a great tournament mm. to an exceptionally uh, awesome event. So that's where the formation came. Mm. And when we returned back to Joburg, um, the Gauteng team said, look, Alphala hosted us. Mm. Come we band together yeah. and let's invite these Durban yeah, sure. teams down. Mm. And that's where we are at. There is obviously a bigger picture, inshallah. Um, we are trying to keep this as national. And inshallah, we the intention of making it an international youth tournament one day. Uh, but I remember meeting you uh, at Alphala College. We just, we struck a, a nice conversation about, you know, the importance of junior football because that's the grassroots, isn't it? And I mean, all stars, they, they were full out in, in Alphala College. And in that conversation, we spoke about the importance of making sure that grassroots football must be maintained. Gee, no, it, that's where it starts. Mm. So it needs to start off at the young age. Mm. Um, when that, that love gets inculcated into that child, yeah. as they grow older, you don't need that persistent to say mm. he needs to go for training. It's that natural love. Mm. So grassroots soccer, it has phenomenal advantage in the child's so social yeah. aspect, as well as just playing the game. So what we're trying to do there in Lodium is to try and keep the kids off the streets, mm. in our clubs, and we want to travel yeah. and go out and experience what yeah. South Africa has to offer. So yes, it's vitally important that we get more kids involved mm. in the game. So we'll always stress on inviting players, especially from a young age, so that that love can be nurtured from an early age and just grow, grow. Mm. I mean, today, um, if we look at All-Stars, mm. our over 40 team, 90% of our kids are playing in the club. Yes. And we played together at junior level a yeah. couple of years ago. Yeah. So inshallah, we've seen the, how could I say, the khair in, yeah. in playing soccer, being, you know, giving that whole camaraderie. Mm. And we want to pass it on to the next generation. And inshallah, somebody will carry the flag forward to the next generation and so forth. Bilal, um, organizing the tournament, it must be a headache, isn't it? it I can it tell is, you from our side, is. from a broadcaster side, it's also... It, it has been a lot know, of work. A, yeah, I can talk um, to us about it, yeah. Uh, so we had this week, mm. Alhamdulillah, the truck arrived today. We've got our fencing. We're busy trying to get our formations right. We've got parking that needs to be calculated. Mm. We've got, Alhamdulillah, we're coming right. We're getting all our stuff in order. And tomorrow is a vitally important day tomorrow. Mm. We're going to try and get there for just time, make mm. solar. After that, it's, it's, it's a lot of work to be done. Uh, Shukr alhamdulillah, we managed to get a lot of sponsors on board. Mm. It's actually, we just checked, we just got number 44 on like 10 minutes back, alhamdulillah. And a special thanks to them because they've, they, they've got us to, with them sponsoring us, we were able to hire the fans, get 
everything in order, all the requirements. We need to make this thing successful, inshallah. And uh, a special thanks to them. Mm -hmm. I can't name them individually, mm -hmm. but 44 of them. And Jazakallah to them. Uh, regarding, regarding Saturday, regarding Sunday, we, we do have... Uh, look, it's a lot. We've mm -hmm. got... Confirm how many kids? Yeah, talk to us about how many teams. Okay, teams so we, are gonna be, yeah. we would be expecting about a, on total over mm -hmm. the two days about a hundred teams to be playing yeah. in the tournament, yeah. right? So that's quite a huge number. We have teams traveling from all uh, across South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, just to mention a few teams' names: Al Falah College, mm -hmm. Dragons High Performance Center from KZN, right. KZN Lions, Wentworth FC. Um, then we have uh, a very close. Relative is Newcastle, stars mm -hmm. are coming. Mm -hmm. MSA Polokwane, we have representation from Mpumalanga, which is King Ross. Okay. So, inshallah, we yeah. hope to grasp one of the Cape Town teams mm. so that we would be able to cover all spheres, basically all nine provinces, and call it the Junior National Festival, yeah, if we, I can call we, it. We shot one. We shot it's the, only Cape Town. Only Cape Town. Well, you guys, there you are, Cape Town. Please, Please show so, Alhamdulillah. Yes. Go thanks ahead and, and thanks of course, to Cape you know, Town representing yeah, us. I mean, you all feel that. You'll fill it up. A hundred percent, definitely. It's all national. Definitely. Ziad, from a I know the community of Lodium because when it comes to, you know, events, they like to be tight knit. You know, and that's special, isn't it? Because the community is getting together for this. For us, Lodium is special. Yeah. You know, when it comes to humanity, yeah. Lodium is special. Yeah. Um, guys, yeah. You know, um, a lot of, we've got a lot of support. And the thing is, Buddha, we're taking people off the streets, mm -hmm. you know. Putting them in an environment, in a sport environment, it makes a big difference. Mm. And that, that's what we've been trying to do, you know. Uh, but, uh, the kids of today, I mean, a lot of them love their the phones. Like they start from even the age of two going up yeah. when, when, when they, yeah. with the phones. But now is the time that it's the, the importance of physical activity. Yeah. And, 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 and football is really such a beautiful sport that allows fate to happen. No, it does. Um, you see, we always look at it in this way. Where do the children, where are the children? Mm. They are on social media. So we're going to social media mm. to show them, look, you can play soccer, here's what it's all about. So we're going into their domain mm. to get them out of it so mm. that they can then come to the ground and run. I mean, we have kids that when they started with us, they couldn't play soccer. Mm. Today you ask him, he'll tell you, I've been to Durban, I've won a tournament. Mm. So it's important they that, 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 they, that they, the effort must be put in, you understand? And we are trying to create the platform. As long as there's a platform, inshallah, they will then be able to come and play. Um, a lot of teams, um, Bilal. Yeah, how, 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 is the, how, how, how are you logistically trying to sort this out? There's 102 teams. Yeah. You can do the numbers on the kids, <laughs> how many kids that is. Yeah. Um, close to 1,000? 1,200. Yes. Yeah. 1200, we, we, we 1200 plus. kids. We're saying one might bring a sibling, a, yeah. a parent, grandparent. So in terms of numbers, hopefully about four to 5,000, inshallah. So we don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. It's we, We're trying to do where we can. We're sorting out. But when it arrives and we go through this, I think Alhamdulillah, it'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, Buddha has tried yeah. to separate it into two yes, play so groups. The program, yeah. the yeah. Program. Just to avoid the complete clash yeah. of all attending on the same day. Yeah, we've created a program where we've slotted certain ages in. So they come in in a slot, they mm -hmm. play their games, and then they would be allowed to leave the venue. Um, so there's going to be like different age groups playing at, at different, different times. Mm -hmm. And then um, we created a tournament uh, on the same basis as the Exquisite Auto Festival, which was in yes, Durban. Yes, yes. Um, so there would be a silver, a gold cup mm -hmm. and a silver cup. Okay. So that means we're giving basically everybody an opportunity, inshallah, to take a trophy home, mm -hmm. if I can call it. So we've set it out in such a way that we have our nines, under nine, under 11, mm -hmm. under 13, under 15, they will play on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, the under sixes and under sevens, our future superstars, they will only come in on Sunday morning. Okay. They will play their games and their whole tournament will be completed. And then thereafter, the remainder of the bigger boys would come on to finish league and knockout games inshallah i mean well the conversation does continue do stay tuned here to hilal live uh, we are looking ahead to the wahda soccer festival which starts uh, on saturday and sunday do stay tuned
Welcome back to Ilala. I'm still in conversation with the organizers of this weekend's Wahda Soccer Festival happening in Lodium, Pretoria. Puta, um, before we end it, of course, you spoke about the, the collaboration that you guys had with Al Falah College. Talk to us about that from a systematic point of view. Okay, so with regards to the collaboration with mm -hmm. Al Falah Institute, we took a lot back from them, from the, the, the exquisite auto festival. For one being is the program layout. Yeah. It's it's running similar to to the way Al Fala, you know, has run their tournament on that weekend, and which we found was quite impressive. It gave us a breather um, and so forth. So we apply the same concept. Um, the Al Fala Institute has been the backbone of Wahda Festival at this present moment. Um, in terms of their assistance, it has been phenomenal. Um, the the their staff. Uh, or their team, if I could call it as such, has actually taken um, the initiative to come down from Durban to come and assist us with the layout of the field. The MCs are being are coming from Alphala to assist All Stars in this event. So, in essence, both I would say Alphala and All Stars have one intention, and that intention is for this event to be a complete success in its entirety for the kids, for the sponsors for the parents, for the grandparents, whoever is attending. And that has been our focus from start to finish. So Alpha La has really um, taught me, myself, as being a club owner, they've really broadened my horizons mm -hmm. in terms of how to do things, how to set up, how to operate. So we are utterly grateful for the relationship that we do have with them. Uh, some of their members will be here tomorrow morning after Fajr. Mm -hmm. The MCs are already, some of them are already in Johannesburg. They will be at the venue in Lodium tomorrow. So we would really, on behalf of All Stars, we take our hats off and say Jazakla to Alphala for holding our hand as they've been, I would say, been doing this a lot more than what we have. And we're learning as we're going along. So inshallah, we hope that we achieve what our intentions are. Ziad, I want to come to you. Uh, of course, you're with Lodium today also, a publication within that part of uh, Pretoria. How do you, from a marketing perspective, get the people of Pretoria to attend this event? Food? Yeah. What do we say? Food. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that, that's definitely what, yeah, yeah. So I think the food is thing, but uh, you know, a lot of parents that are involved, you know, the kids are involved in soccer mm -hmm. already, will obviously be attending and stuff, you know. We do have, a, we have uh, pop-ups, there's about 15, 16 mm -hmm. vendors. Now that you mentioned uh, yeah. food, like yeah. we've got... Uh, the guy that's not yeah. that these guys the guys that are coming on they they sponsoring meals to to our referees to the referees yes, yes, to the organizers mm. to to you guys as well mm. and, so i think there's uh, some unique we, unique we, vendors that have a breakfast be you know they're arranging breakfast there's lunch it supper and it's all sponsored meals so Is alhamdulillah that? and yeah. through him he's made, yeah. been able to yeah. get them on board Is it? Yeah, talk to us about it yeah, like how are you able to get them you know just yeah. to you know to make to tell them listen it's such a beautiful event to be part of you know, we've, we phoned in a few sponsors, yeah. a few that we know that advertise with us, mm. you know, in Pretoria. And asking for the sponsorship, you know, just told them this is what we require. And Alhamdulillah, they were, mm. they were, their hearts were open, their hearts are big. Alhamdulillah. You know, Alhamdulillah. They realize it's, it's, it's for the kids. Yeah. You understand, at the end of the day, it's for the kids. And they've, they've been supportive. And the whole event, yeah. it's, 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 yeah. it's, it's basically about the children. Yeah. yeah. And, and Buddha's concept is it's about the kids. Yeah. And, and whoever's coming is, is helping a hand in assisting us. Mm. Still to them, that is the, the yeah. final picture. It is about the kids. Mm -hmm. And just getting everything going well, the, the organizers in terms of the timing, these matches have to be on time. Yeah. They're 15 minutes. We've got two days to play. Yeah. Yeah. That many games, and it's, it's so inshallah, you're going to get it. Right. I, I, I want to ask you, uh, Pilar, how do you now, you know, from a, from a organizational point of view, put in chip in here also, are the fields, how is that going to be worked out? Because quite a lot of teams, and obviously the round robin stages, you have to make sure that everything yes. is organized and on time. Everything has to be accounted yeah. for. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah, start. We'll continue. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we we brought we've got a fencing yeah. in place. So this thing boxes up twelve fields. Okay, uh, that's quite a lot. Okay. Yeah, we've managed to get in. So we've got the the speed fencing. Okay. So that will be closing the perimeter of the ground, right? right? So we've made them in three quadrants. I mean, yeah, three mm. fields, but four Petition. quadrants, mm. right? And we've closed them all up nicely. 
Look, uh, the venue that we are using is Rosina Sedebane School okay. Grounds. It's quite huge. When mm. I say huge, um, Lodium has the Idga at that venue oh, yes, generally, yes. right? So the space, Alhamdulillah, um, a lot of mats was used mm -hmm. uh, in order to get a calculations. Mm -hmm. But we managed to put in comfortable size fields and we managed to put 12 of them in. Mm -hmm. We've got 12 equal size yeah. fields that mm -hmm. would play all the age groups. We managed to get the two parking lots yeah. inside. Yeah. We've got vendors yeah. that we need to manage, you know, a system. They've yeah. come with trailers, etc. So taking everything into account, trying to accommodate them all. And uh, inshallah, and, and the weather, uh, alhamdulillah. Yeah, like inshallah, if it holds up. Oh, we, we know uh, Pretoria is generally two or three. Yeah, we might get a passing, passing result, but it, yeah, let's see. It's okay. We'll take it as it comes. Yeah, no, inshallah. alhamdulillah. So, guys, what's oh, meant to happen will happen. Definitely. So, we'll guys, I'm going to give you each one final uh, question. Yeah. Sure. Um, what are you hoping to gain out of this tournament? Let me start with you, Ziad. The Wahda tournament, unity. Yeah. That is, that is that what, is it, what is. it is. The unity yeah. word yes. is, is such unity a broad word. word. It's like yeah. in every aspect, people just need to understand that's what it is. Yeah. And it's coming together. It's it's just uniting where it's the kids, where it's mm. people we've never met before, the people coming from mm. Durban, people that we've got from Pretoria, Johannesburg, the out of town. It's mm. They're coming together as one and everybody is going to just lend a hand. And, and I think the outcome is to have something that is really going to form the unity we're trying to achieve. Puta? For me, mm. I want children to take home lifelong memories. Yes. Yes. That Most they will cherish for the rest of their lives. Mm. To say that we've attended a tournament where we were on TV mm. by the grace and, and mercy of Allah mm. that Hilal TV is going to be present. I would want them to, to cherish this moment until, uh, until their time of life. Because these are small aspects that's stepping stones to bigger things in life. So, inshallah, my objective is for every child to live there with a smile. I know we, we have to have some winners and some losers, mm -hmm. but on the overall sentiment, I would want the children to go home as happy as can be. Uh, Puta, uh, for anyone that wants to attend the events, watching the broadcast now, uh, what time do they need to be there by? Uh, how is the procedure going to be? Okay. So, registration for the teams mm -hmm. will take place at 8 o'clock in the morning until mm -hmm. 9 o'clock. Yeah. What a dua and kirat as well. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they after, inshallah, we will kick off at 9. Mm -hmm. So, they will play round-robin games. The games should last about 10 minutes long. Mm -hmm. um, they will then play close to about 6 to 7 round-robin games on Saturday. Then they will, their, their fixtures for the day will end. On Sunday morning, um, we're going to be starting with registration at 8 o'clock again, mm -hmm. but that would be for under 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. They would kick off at 9 o'clock until after Zohar, mm -hmm. basically. And then the other teams will be coming in during the day. But the limelight on Sunday would be the remainder of the league games mm -hmm. of the round robin, as well as the knockouts. So there'll be a lot of teams that would be fighting for, if I can call it, the top 8, because that's the, the 8 that would basically qualify to the knockouts. And one of the objectives or one of the methodology that was used behind this tournament was to give the most game time. So we have also, alhamdulillah, got on a sponsor from Cape Town mm. that is going to be selecting the player of the tournament oh, for the under-13 division. Okay. That okay. child will then go to Cape Town where he'll train. If he's selected, he will go then to Feyenoord where he will be then be training with Robin van Persie. Mm. And this okay. only comes on board via uh, some tours yeah. who are a group of guys. They will be present at the event. Yeah. They will be selecting this player. So we are trying to create an open doors that were never there in the past. And like Ziad and Bilal rightfully said, the word Wahda stands on top. Because without uniting, mm. we're not going to be able to open those doors. Exactly, yeah. So yes, there's a lot here that we're trying to, to put into play. So... Just to come back to the point, for an under nine team to win this tournament, he would have to play 11 games, mm. which is a lot. It's like you're playing a league. Yeah. So it is going to be a lot of fun and a lot of yeah. tired people on yeah. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that. It's going to be from our case also. And of course, final, they are the Dutch champions. So yeah. who wouldn't want to be training <laughs> under the great Robin van Persie? Ziad, Puta, 
you know, Jazakla guys so much oh, for joining us. Oh, we're going to be seeing you. you this weekend. Okay. A lot of you this weekend. So, <laughs> I'm we're really looking forward to it. And gentlemen, it's re- been an absolute pleasure. Jazakla for coming to the studios and all the best. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make this tournament a success. And as you say, Amen. bring us as Muslims more united after this. Amen. 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 Jazak. Jazak. Amen. To Amen. Jazak. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum as That is, of course, the organizers of this weekend's Wahda uh, Soccer Festival that is happening in Pretoria, Lodium. And we will be bringing you live coverage throughout the day. That's for Saturday and Sunday. Right here on Hilal TV, TSTV Channel 347. Do stay tuned. After the break, I'll have your latest in news. We'll be back. Oh.